All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, today we're gonna be fixing your triangle choke here. So a few little easy tips that you can do to uh, get a lot more success with your triangle. However, before uh, we get into that, uh, be sure to go to the links in the description. Check out my copy of my free book, The White Belt Survival Guide, especially if you're a white belt trying to figure out, uh, navigate the waters of jiu-jitsu. That is going to be a good option for you to check out. It's free, just go to the links in the description. Um, today we're gonna be fixing the triangle choke. Now the triangle choke is a choke that I used to do quite a lot uh, back when I was a blue belt, pearl belt. I don't do it so much anymore just because I don't play guards that give me the triangle choke too much. But there are some great tips that I used to use and still use now uh, to finish the triangle. Okay, So we're going to start off with just kind of the basic setup and then we'll get into some of the common misconceptions with the triangle choke here. Okay, So uh, I'm not going to go in depth into the setup per se. but the super basic way that beginners will set up the triangle choke is just by going wrist to wrist and kind of doing this either push pull to get one arm in, one arm out, and then opening up and getting to a triangle position here. Or in a lot of cases too, you can teach to grab the wrist, hip escape out, and as you hip escape, what you're going to do is you're going to shove this wrist uh, towards this hip and then get into your triangle choke position. Okay, so first thing with regard to the setup. Uh, those work well at a beginner level, they don't necessarily work well at a high level, but again, I want to talk more about the triangle choke and not so much on this actual setups. I'm going to pause here for a second, okay? Because oftentimes what happens is people will get into this triangle choke position and then immediately try to lock everything down, but you don't necessarily have control of the position, okay? So the first thing that I like to do here is when I get my triangle choke set up, I like to just close up my guard over my partner's body, okay? Now, you see me grabbing my leg here. What I'm doing is I feel like I'm going too far this way so I can frame just to bring my leg up and that's gonna get us back to center, okay? So four triangle chokes, arm bars, whatever, it's really hard to finish on your side. So sometimes if I feel like I'm moving to my side, just use this arm to kind of frame against this leg to keep you on this side, okay? Now, first thing that I like to do before I even start to set this up is I reach and I grab my leg, okay? So I just got my triangle locked up. I just reach and grab my leg. And my goal is just to keep his posture down. Because the first thing everybody does when they get triangled is they start to posture up. And if he starts to posture up, I lose my triangle, okay? Let me switch to my good side. So first things first is I get this triangle set up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hug the head. So I'm kind of hugging the head, shift it right over to my, uh, shift it right over to my shins, okay? Now if he tries to posture up, it becomes very difficult. Once I feel like I'm ready, I move into the next step, my foot goes on the hip, and now I'm just gonna turn, okay? So my goal here is when I get this angle, is to get this leg as high up on my knee, okay? Traditionally, how the triangle is taught, I'll do it from this angle since you can see it. Traditionally, how the triangle is taught is once you get this position, right? that you want to be all the way perpendicular with your partner and that's super helpful, but not always necessary, okay? So I can lock up here, I can get my knee as high as possible, and now I can finish just kind of straight on here. This is not advised, you do want to get an angle, but I'm just saying that with a little trick, you can actually get this triangle. You can actually get this triangle uh, without getting all the way to your side. Another common misconception is to lift up through here, bring the arm across, and then start to pull, okay? The reason why I don't like bringing the arm across is because now he can reach up and grab his, my, my knee, pull my knee to the ground, and then defend here. So by pulling the arm across, I am actually going to give him the ability to, uh, to, the ability to escape, okay? So I don't care if his arm is on this side of my body. I go one, I grab, I turn, and yes, ideally I want to be as perpendicular as possible so I can make a grip underneath his leg to come out in this direction and get even more perpendicular, okay? Again, I don't care about the arm. Now, here's why. If I lock up here and I do the traditional, leave this arm here, I do the traditional pulling the head down and lifting, I don't get much crank or much leverage on the neck, okay? The real mechanism for the triangle is to get my hamstring into his neck here. So this is the actual mechanism, look at his face. This is the actual mechanism of the triangle. As a matter of fact, you can even finish it with no arms. Okay, I'll show you guys that in another video. Just make sure you're subscribed, you like this, and I'll show you guys what we call the big boy triangle here with no, uh, with no, no actually locking up the triangle. 
okay? So from here, look, the mechanism of the triangle is the hamstring going right through the carotid artery, all right? Now I do have the, the, leg, the leg mobility to get my hamstring going in this direction here, right? So when I get this, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this motion with my legs, okay? It's not so much like squeezing my adductors together, but it's more bringing this hamstring or this leg down that way while I use my hip flexor to pull in. You understand? So when I make my grip here, ideally what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my knees as tight together as possible. And now if you can look at Bryson's face, this is really, really bad for him. I haven't even locked up my triangle all the way. See, my leg is not underneath my knee here. I just try to get my knee as high as possible and then I can squeeze, okay? Again, without anybody in front of me, the mechanism of this triangle is here, all right? It's not here, it's not pulling down on the head, it's right here. This is gonna give you the biggest bang for your buck in terms of leverage. You use the glute and hamstring to push this leg forward and this hip flexor here to pull the leg backwards. So, in my opinion, that is the best way to uh, that is the best way to set up your triangles and actually finish your triangles with the least amount of effort and energy and steps. The extra steps is, is too is worth it. The least amount of energy and effort required in order to finish your triangle chokes. So, uh, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment if you like it. Leave a comment if you have questions about it. Um, I'll make a YouTube short as well on the big boy triangle. Uh, it's a way to lock up the triangle without actually locking up your legs, and uh, be sure to like, subscribe, oh, and uh, check out that book too.